<laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? It's Craig. Welcome to us here at Flooded HQ. We're here to entertain you and keep you keep you on your toes and all excited and uh well what i want to tell you about is a video i made a couple of days ago uh about the appointment of the new doctor in doctor who doctor uh and uh and uh, we weren't sure we weren't sure who it was going to be but the papers were telling us who it was definitely going to be uh certainly hinting a near defo that it was going to be um, somebody. And and where do you think all this speculation came from? Where could it possibly have come from? Well, I didn't focus on it. I didn't look at it. But it originated in the sun. And a lot of people don't like the sun. And it's understandable that they don't like the sun. But it isn't the sun's fault necessarily. Because now I actually did come to look at this article where they've done this stupid, like, I, they must have spent, what, three, four minutes on that? And there's the story here. Ollie Alexander set to be new Doctor Who. Set to be new Doctor Who. Well, he, the character's not called Doctor Who. I make that mistake, to be fair, but, you know, hello. So already they're wrong. Um, so this is what was going around, that this guy here was going to be the next Doctor. And uh, how did we all come to that conclusion? How did all the media come to that conclusion, I wonder? Uh, well, let's have a quick listen to this and see. Because this is an interview on Heart FM. I think it's called Heart FM Radio. Um, with Ollie Alexander. And he's not exactly helping at all. I read an interview with uh, Russell T. Davis at the, at the last weekend. And he was talking about the atmosphere on set and how you all got on so well together. Uh, now, of course, we know him from Doctor Who. There are, I, 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 you will have heard this rumour. Is it true that possibly you might be the next Doctor Who? That's what I'm hearing. Is there anything in wow. that? I mean, if I was, do you think I'd be able to tell you? That's not annoying, is it? That's not annoying. If I was, do you think I'd be able to tell you? What about if you, you weren't? You'd be able to say no, wouldn't you? And look at that lovely grin. <laughs> so uh, he's, he's, I don't know, he's either uh, pretty PR savvy himself or he's going to be the next Doctor Who and they've told him not to do it. Now, if I watched this, that's what I would think. I'd think, oh, actually, he's not saying. Um, I, I think he might be the guy that they're planning because he's making me think that by what he's saying and doing. Oh, my lips are sealed. Can't tell ya. I can't tell... Nips are sealed. Nips are sealed. I might be the next doctor, but unfortunately I can't tell you folks because my lips are sealed. Uh, let's, play, let's play on. Well, <laughs> I'd like to I've feel... read that you're deliciously indiscreet, so I'm hoping <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're all at it. They're all at it. All these celebs, they know what they're doing. They know who's who and what, who's getting what role and what's happening. And they're playing with us. They're playing with us. Uh, anyway, see what it says. <laughs> it's true, I... I am very indiscreet. Me usually, too. So, but my lips are sealed. <laughs> <laughs> but would that be a dream role? Uh, you are being very indiscreet. Would that be a dream role for you? <laughs> oh my gosh, I would be amazing. I think it'd be amazing. I mean, I think it's an amazing show and an amazing role. So this is. There you go. So a uh, nice little scoop there for Heart FM. Fantastic. On the back end of that, everybody pretty much reported about this. Ollie Alexander in advance talks to become the next Doctor Who said pink news. We have a lots of story here. Uh, talking about Russell T. Davies has always wanted him to be. Uh, it said uh, The publication said it's on the verge of being announced. So people are now reporting on what the Sun was saying. Uh, so they're quoting a rumour. As a quote, when you see something in quotes, it's pretty much definitive in my eyes, but not when you're quoting somebody who's create, generating a rumour, generated by Ollie Alexander himself, I might add. Uh, the Guardian, they had it. They were saying, Doctor Who, Ollie Alexander, tip to be the new leader. Da, da, da. Uh, and then, of course, Variety came and poo-pooed it all. It's a sin star, Ollie Alexander's reps deny he will be the next Time Lord. His reps do. Now, I don't know uh, what a rep is. Uh, it's a sin Ollie Alexander responds to Doctor Who rumours. 
I'm afraid I have to exterminate the speculation. Now, he, he doesn't say that. Who are these reps? Who's saying these things? Well, it's coming from this post here by a Martha Kinn on, believe it or not, it's an Instagram story. So it's kind of not even permanent. And who's Martha Kinn? Before we read it, who is she? Well, it says here, she, uh, she's she got only 6,500 followers. She's artist manager. So she needs the publicity. So, hey, everyone, go to Martha Kinn's um, Instagram to find the official statement on who the new Doctor Who's going to be or not going to be. She's the manager for Ollie Alexander for his touring, I believe. I don't know if it's everything. Uh, she's a mental health advocate. I've never met somebody who doesn't advocate for, for good mental health, so I presume she, she does good mental health. She's an advocate for good mental health, not bad mental health. And here, look, oh, great, hashtag Black Lives Matter, a little link down there to donate to them, should you want to do. And here's the uh, here's the oppression that that is life as these people live in the life. You know? I want to go and, uh, I don't know who these people are. But, um, so this is it. The announcement was bizarrely, uh, uh, the denial was kind of put out on Instagram. Here's the actual denial that we saw uh, uh, from her uh, a couple of days ago. My official comment. Um, so I think what's actually happened was she did this almost straight away. But I think they enjoyed the publicity. Because it's only sort of filtering through to me now. Um, that this is, is that you know, I'm only seeing it on social media now. She said, my official comment, lol, with help from a Fred Drowson. I guess he did the imagery for this. Even though Ollie is often contacted by Cybermen, I'm afraid I have to exterminate the speculation. As nice it is to see the interest. The speculation was from him. <laughs> as nice as it is to see interest in this story regenerate it just isn't true as good as it might sound ollie is focusing on this music for the time being this was kind of he was on the list for quite a, quite a while i think wasn't he certainly uh, a few days back uh and so they held on to it and let people continue to believe it for a little while which i think is a little bit you know it's not it's not entirely honest to do that if you know something's not true and you're deliberately letting people believe that and benefiting from it i.e you're getting you know because what happens is that everyone puts it on the front page of their newspapers not the front page but you know what i mean it goes into videos it goes into the tags of videos it goes into all the metadata it goes into google search engine ollie alexander doctor who new doctor and before you know it everyone's talking about him and they really shouldn't be because there's nothing to say he's got a song out go and look go and listen to it if you want to so I'm a little bit disappointed. I was quite interested to see what 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 would have been what he would have made of that, uh, but our hopes are dashed. We all wanted Ollie, and we're not getting Ollie. We're going to get somebody else. I think we're going to get a straight white man. I think that's probably what they'll go for next because uh, because uh, that that just seems the obvious move, doesn't it? I think that's the that's the mindset of these Doctor Who people. They're not woke like me and you. They'll just go for like the obvious, uh, you know, the traditional. They'll, they'll they'll get somebody old, a boomer. That's what they'll do. Sad thing is, we know that's exactly not what they'll do. They'll do the exactly opposite of that. They'll just virtue signal until they bleed teeth. I've meant teeth bleed. <laughs> 